we're going to go straight into a few more special tests for the shoulder. In particular, we're going to look at tests that evaluate for shoulder stability and also a special test for the shoulder labrum. So first, I'm going to go over the apprehension test, and I'm going to follow this up with Job's relocation test. So what I'd like to do for this is I like to have my patient laying down supine with their shoulder nearly off the side of the table. I like this position because her scapula is nice and stabilized against the back part of the table. I get my patient into about 90 degrees abduction. I get her elbow into about 90 degrees of flexion. And I maximally externally rotate her and I apply a little bit of pressure here. Now, what I'm looking for isn't exactly pain, although this could be a little bit uncomfortable for patients. What I'm looking for is for the patient to be apprehensive about this position. So patients who have ever had any shoulder dislocation or have had a shoulder subluxation incident in the past might feel quite apprehensive with this. If that is the case, what I'd like to do is I'd like to follow up that exam with Job's relocation test, where I apply my hand around that anterior capsule of the shoulder, reinforcing it so that when I bring them into external rotation, they don't have that same sensation of apprehension. So next we're going to go over O'Brien's test. O'Brien's test is classically supposed to test the labrum of the shoulder. However, a lot of times it's very tough to test just one part of the shoulder with a single test. It's better to use this test in combination with other tests to figure out the etiology of your patient's pain. So to run through O'Brien's test, I'm going to ask my patient to go ahead and get herself into forward flexion to 90 degrees. I'm going to have her line up her thumb with her nose, and I'm going to have her resist me as I apply a downward force. Excellent. That's part one of O'Brien's test. The second part is I'm going to have my patient rotate so that her thumb is pointing downward and with her hand still in line with her nose. Now I'm going to again apply a downward force, and I'm going to have her resist me. Good. Go ahead and relax. A positive O'Brien's test is when your patient has pain with their thumb down and while they're resisting you as you're applying that downward force. However, this patient will not have pain with the thumb up and the examiner applying a downward pressure while the patient is pushing up. So only pain with the thumb down, no pain with the thumb up. And that would be a positive O'Brien's test. Thank you.